parts of Bartlett, Iowa are accessible, but for some folks, the only way to get to their home is by boat. You had less than five minutes to actually get the TV, get loaded up. The water was rolling across the road and we drove out of here. Two months later, and it still takes a boat ride through a cornfield to get to Leland Achenbaugh's home. When the flood came, it was to the gutters on my house is how deep the water was. Feet of water surround the home. His wagon sits in a tree, a tank from somewhere upstream in the yard. Luckily, the family and all my family and everybody's safe and everything, but 32 years of what we've worked for is gone. All the time spent fixing it up when we did buy it and the grandkids, things they made me. Now toys sit submerged in flood water behind the house. Seven years ago, Leland and his wife, Kim, lived in Thurman, Iowa. Their home there was destroyed by a tornado. We heard it for probably a good minute and a half. It was just a roar. You know, so this is two times for us in eight years. So, so you know, what do you do? Their next step is to buy a new home, but the money isn't coming from FEMA assistance. They said, well, we refuse to go to your house until all the water's gone and all the uh, road closed are back open. The current release of water at Gavin's Point Dam is above average. The Army Corps of Engineers says it will likely stay that way for months, possibly lasting into November. Leland fears this will keep water levels high near his home. The way it is right now, the Corps is going to turn more water loose. We have a breach in the levee up here. The water is coming into Bartlett. It's going to stay here. It has no way to get out. So now all they can do is hope that they can actually get home before November. Reporting in Bartlett, Iowa, Molly Bernard at KETV Newswatch 7.